Hi, my name is Borja. I'm the lead designer on Plants vs. Zombies 2. I'm Adrian. I'm a producer on Plants vs. Zombies 2. And we're really excited today to be announcing, uh, coming soon, Dark Ages Part 1. At E3, we're going to be demoing Dark Ages Part 1 to the press, and we really wanted to give you the E3 press experience. So let's get started. Let's start out by talking about the map. Our artists have really outdone themselves by reimagining the medieval theme with the nighttime background. As we scroll over, you can see some of the prizes you can get and Gargantua at night 10. Let's jump right into a new level. Before we get started picking our plants, let's check out the new background. At nighttime, sun is not going to be falling from the sky. And that's going to change the strategy of how you play with sun and plants. In addition to the medieval theme, we've got new board mechanic where gravestones could also provide you with some sun and additional plant food. So you can see on the right the new summits that we have for Dark Ages Part 1. Um, I'm going to pick some of the old favorites like Pea Shooter, Grave Buster. And scroll down to these brand new plants that we have for Dark Ages Part 1. And let's rock. So the first plant that I want to show you is the Sunshroom. It's actually cheaper than the Sunflower, on the Twin Sunflower, and it goes through three stages of growth. Uh, first, it starts really small, and it goes into, say, adulthood. And you can see how it looks like by just doing this. We should mention also that we are cheating a little bit here just to be able to show you all the plants in this level. So the next plant that I want to show you is the Puffshroom. Puffshroom, as you can see, is a free plant. It costs nothing to plant it and it will have a very fast cooldown. I mean, you can really put a lot, a lot of mushrooms out there really fast. Uh, this is another way to actually battle the fact that you don't have as much sun as you used to. Also, another quality about the mushroom is that over time, you can see this guy sort of fading a little bit. That means the, the mushroom actually has a small timer uh, and at the end of it, it will actually disappear. Uh, but however, you can do this, and you can see how a single plant food actually activates plant food on every puff shroom that is currently on the screen. And not only that, but it also resets the timer on every puff shroom so that they can keep on the screen for longer. The fume shroom is, say, imagine the pea shooter of Dark Ages. It's your, one of your basic plants actually costs some sun to plant, but it does have more damage than the puff shroom. So for tougher zombies, you're going to have to have some of these guys on the screen to help you out. As you can see, some of the brand new zombies have started to come out. We've got um, a new peasant zombie, buckethead, conehead, and a new imp that you've seen so far. So as you can see now, all of my uh, sunstorms are actually fully grown. This means they're actually giving me pieces of sun that are, that are worth 75 pieces of sun. And you'll see next time that one of them pops one, they're huge, like that one. As you can see, my pop shrooms are also fading very quickly. And there you go. If you don't actually plant food anymore, they will eventually disappear. So this guy coming up here is the Jester. He's one of the wackiest zombies that we've ever added to the game. And you really have to be very careful with what you shoot at him because as you can see, he'll start spinning around, pick it up and throw it back at your plant. So this is where your fume shroom comes in really handy because he kind of battles these fumes that he's shooting at him. He's getting too close. So you can see some more of them. And what happens if I do this? He will actually shoot every projectile back at my plants. So again, Fume Shroom is your main counter for, for the Jester. Here's another one of our new zombies. This is the Knight. He's actually not very special other than he can really take a lot of damage. So he's just gonna keep walking forward. You're gonna have to throw a lot of things at this guy to make him stop. And he's one of the biggest threats in Dark Ages because he's really hard to stop. We're just gonna use some plant food, push him back, and defeat him. And this brings me to Sunbeam. Sunbeam is a plant that will help you actually produce more sun. Uh, unlike any other way that you've ever done before. By having the zombie actually eat that sunbeam, you turn him into some sort of sun source that every time you damage, will give you some sun, which is really helpful for your more expensive plants. So I like to use the sunbeam on zombies that are really tough. You can see how much sun I get out of this. Um, my favorite plant probably from, from this update is the Hypnoshroom. If you remember from the original game, whenever you plant a Hypnoshroom and it's consumed by a zombie, it will make the zombie turn around and actually attack the zombies on that lane, which is really helpful when you're actually 
at a pinch and need some extra help from the zombies. But that's not all. What happens when you actually plant food one of your hypno shrooms? So what just happened is the zombie that consumed that plant food hypno shroom actually became a gargantuar fighting for you. And that is pretty cool because any zombie setting on his way are just gonna get smashed down and destroyed. We hope you enjoyed our demo of Dark Ages Part 1 and the E3 Press experience. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Bye.